In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of inverse of a matrix. We already know what is inverse and how to calculate using it joint. In this video, we are going to see the second question which says if A is a non-singular matrix. Now I know non-singular matrix means the determinant value is not equal to 0. That means inverse exists. Proof that A inverse determinant is equal to 1 upon determinant of A. It is as good as if I say 2 inverse is what? It is 1 upon 2. The same thing, right? That we need to prove. For this proof, I would be using another property that I already know from the concept of matrices chapter. I know that any matrix multiplied by its inverse will give me what? Will give me the identity matrix of the same order which this matrix has. Now if this is the case and I take the determinant both sides, what happens? The story changes to determinant this side and determinant on the other side as well. You know this is already known. So I write we know. We know from where? We know from the chapter of determinants. This is a formula or a property. I am taking determinant both the sides. Now I also know that another formula exists which says that you can always separate the determinants. So you can write it like this. We have used this property in the previous questions also. Since we know this, I can use this in the equation 1. If this is equation 2, I can use 2 for 1. Right? I can separate the determinants. If here it is a single, I can just separate it as this, which you can see here. Right side is what? Right side is determinant of the identity matrix. See if you have an identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And now I tell you to find the determinant. Determinant of say I tell you to find out the determinant, what will you do? You will just cross multiply. So it is 1, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0, so 1 minus 0 is 1. So always identity matrix has the determinant value as 1. So here also, if what is the identity value's determinant? It is nothing but 1. That is what we need to know. Now when two things are multiplied from one side of equal to, when you take to the other side, the things become in division. Right? So if A inverse is kept here only as the determinant, this is 1, I can always divide the other factor. What is the other factor? It is determinant of A. That is what we needed to prove. See, we have already proved the result that the determinant of the inverse matrix is equal to 1 upon the determinant of the same matrix.